Hi, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and in this short video I would like to describe once again the for a selected message trigger in Cloudflows that allows you to design an adaptive card that will be opened from the context menu of a specific message, whether it be, let it be in, uh, in a conversation, in a private chat or in a group chat. And the recently added new action that is called the respond in Teams task module that allows you to actually respond to that message once submitted. All right, ready? Let me show you how it works. Fine, so here I have uh, well, some conversations, some, some uh, messages. And once you hit this ellipsis icon, you'll see here all those um, cloud flows created in important default environment that do use the uh, for a selected message v2 trigger bear in mind that if you do use a longer name then this context menu is going to be really wide so try to be as much as, uh, as, as descriptive as possible uh, within just a few words and so here i have this option for a message that displays just a short form where a user is asked to uh well to choose whether they want to report this message delete it or maybe send them a copy let's say want to report Oops. Um, and now once it is submitted, you'll notice that this window will, let's say, close and a confirmation message is displayed. Right. So this information here, thank you for submission. This is the message that is being posted back to this window using the responding teams task module action. OK, so um, what happens next is that um, Teams admin receives an email as the message with a request, uh, well, with information that this uh, is deleted or that they would like to report this message. So, um, well, they can navigate to this message. They can confirm task completion. Uh, the point is that uh, in the end, uh, in the end, this whole process can be re-enhanced. But it's not about the process mainly. It's more about it's more about how these um how those actions really work right so there was again this uh, inf information sent to uh to that conversation that this message was reported all right so how was it built well basically i will not show you directly how that flow was built i'll just create one from scratch so first let's create an automated cloud flow let's call it uh well whatever like say hi maybe and let's use this trigger that is called um, for a selected message okay now here you're able to design the card let's say we would like here to uh, can be removed and let's just use Just one field that will be just faster. Uh, and let's make this uh, multi line, multi line, multi line. Oops, the checkbox is missing, but it's not a problem. Uh, because we can say that all right so now it's multi-line and hit save card so the next step we want to do is to use again the action for Microsoft Teams and we want to use that action called respond in Teams task module and here we would like to again send an adaptive card so we'll use this adaptive card content just see how inconsistent it is because here you have this button to design an adaptive card here you just have a field 
Uh, so um, we'll just remove this field because we don't want a field. And And we don't want any actions, actually. And we'll say and we'll say uh, thank you for a message, and the message will be added as the part of the content. All right. Uh, so that's it. And the last step we can do just to display this message is to uh, use the action reply or re uh, reply. Yeah, reply. Was it that way? Um, right, so we'll post it inside a channel. The message ID is taken from here. Team ID uh, is teams for tests. Or it can be parameterized. Sorry, let's let's parameterize it. So there will be the team ID, and obviously the channel ID. Where is the channel ID? Here. Um, And let's do it this way that we want to. OK, now once I save this, you'll notice that Microsoft Teams or Power, yeah, the Flowbot uh, is going to send me a message confirmation in my chat that my instant flow say hi that I've created is now ready and can be run right so this is like the confirmation that I have set up everything correctly and right now I can just go back to like whichever message like to this one and in just a second there should be uh, like this, this new flow edit or visible. Oh, sorry, there it is. So there it is. Uh, say hi. So I just need to click it, and And submit. So right now you'll see that this is being replaced, right? So the input text field has been, let's say, removed. Instead, there is this confirmation, and uh, and there is that uh, message from myself, hello, dear other, right? So with that approach, you can actually build some cool um, scenarios around uh, triggering flows within the context of the message. So. You can create your own custom ticketing systems or you can create your own custom uh, tasks that you'll be a, allow your users to trigger directly using the context of the message. Uh, the point is that before uh, these responding team test module action arrived, you were only able to display the form and then the user was stuck with this form opened. Right now, with using this uh, responding team task module action, you're able to actually close this, close this card and display confirmation that can contain as well information that the user provided in the first place. All right. So without having said, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe uh, and thumbs up and like the video. And if you have any comments, simply write them down below the video. So once again, thank you very much. And until the next time, bye bye.